<laughs> All right, we're talking about equations where we have to combine and distribute. So let's talk about them. So we're solving by combining like terms first. So we're recalling. So we need to cover one side and we need to say, are there any like terms on this left side? What are the like terms? What kind of 2M? Do signs matter? Yes. So from there, what would I be typing into the calculator? Three? No. -uh. Three what? Minus two. So type in three minus two. Three minus two? What'd y'all get? One M. What comes down behind that? Plus six behind that equals what? Negative 22. What do I need to do from here to get M by itself? What about six? Subtract it, right? Because it's a constant that's negative, so the opposite of neg uh, positive is negative, right? So, what Brits, what's brought down? What happens to those sixes? What comes down behind that? And what's being typed in? Remember, typing it in, being a kinetic student, okay? Putting your hands to work will help you better with recalling and knowing what to do. So, negative 22 minus 6 gets me what? Negative 28. Is there anything left for me to do? No, because M is already with a 1 coefficient. Yes, sir? Hit second mode. Mode is right next to it. Mm -hmm. Any questions there? From there, looking at B, covering up the side with one term, is there anything to combine on the left side? Because do signs matter? Yes. So, what am I typing into the calculator? So type in 42 minus 19, I'll tell you when. What'd y'all get? So I have 23 X plus 18 equals negative 28. Two-step equation, what's my first step? Uh, minus 18 on both sides. Absolutely, because my constant was a positive 18. The opposite of positive is negative. So what do I do from there? Negative what? Negative 28. Not quite. Going from left to right. What happens to the 18s? Then? And now what am I typing in? I'm making you go from left to right because you need to remember how to read these kind of problems to solve and simplify them. So negative 28 minus 18 gets you what? Everybody get negative 46? What do I do from here? Divide by 23 because that's my coefficient on both sides. I agree. What happens to the 23s? Uh huh. Equals. And then what am I typing in? Thank you. Type in 40, negative 46 divided by 23. Don't say the answer out loud yet. Give your people time. That way everybody's included and participating. You already know you get a participation grade. What'd y'all get? Do signs matter? Yes, ma Any questions? Okay. Any questions on these top two? We're just combining like terms on this one. Does that make sense? So now I'm looking at the next one. It says solve by distributing. So if I'm looking at this, what am I distributing on letter C? Six. six. So what's being what's six being distributed to first? Three M. Three M. So what's six times three M? Eighteen. Eighteen what? Eight. Perfect. What's being distributed by six next? So I'm typing in 6 times 5, which is? So what should go behind this? Plus 30. And then behind that? Perfect. Any questions on what we just did there? Make sure you're doing small things like this, like circling that 6 and drawing those lines so you know where these are coming from. That's the biggest thing I was making note of yesterday with the distribution was that a lot of people were not following through with showing their work on that to know where it's coming from. Okay, so what do I need to do next on this two-step equation? Subtract 30 
on both sides. I agree. Thank you for that. So what's being brought down? What happens to the 30s? Behind that? What am I typing in? Type that in for me, please. I'll tell you when, okay? 66 minus 30. What'd y'all get? What do I do from here? Because that's the coefficient on M. So what happens to the 18s? What's brought down? And then what am I typing in? Type that in, I'll tell you when. What'd y'all get? What was that? Perfect. Any questions there? Okay, looking at D, am I distributing anything? What am I distributing? Negative three. Negative three. What's negative three being distributed to first? Two T. So what's being brought down, unchanged? And then what's negative three times two T? What are we missing? T. What's negative three being distributed to next? Two negatives make a whenever you're multiplying or dividing. So what you go behind this T? Plus three. Plus three. Because that's three times one at that point. Any questions on that? All right, two-step equation. What's my first step? Minus three. Because that's my constant I'm trying to move. Left to right, what's being typed in? Uh-huh. Perfect. Type in negative 3 minus 3. I'll tell you when. Negative 3 minus 3. I'll tell you when. What'd y'all get? Behind that? Uh-huh. What happens to those threes? How do I get T by itself? Divide by... Do signs matter? And I divide negative six on? Perfect. What happens to these negative sixes? Into what? One. What goes behind that? Then what happens to those negative sixes? And then what's left? How can I rewrite this? Are they both good answers? Well, I accept both. Absolutely. Any questions there? Everybody good? Awesome. Looking at example number one. It says, what if our equations have both, meaning both distribution and combining like terms? We must distribute first. So distribute first and combine before we begin to solve. Everybody good? Yes. So if I'm looking at the example, you're going to follow through it with me. I'm distributing a 3 to x and 5. In doing that, what's 3 times x? 3x. What's 3 times 5? So I end up with 3x plus 15, where plus 8x is brought down, and then equals 37. Everybody still with me on that step? Yes. From there, I need to cover up the one term on the other side of the equal sign and ask, is there anything to combine on this side? 3x and 8x, right? So I would type in 3 plus 8. I would type in 3 plus 8. What would that leave me with? 11. 11x, bringing down the plus 15, bringing down the equal sign, bringing down 37. Everybody still with me? Yes. Awesome. So I have 11x plus 15 equals 37. Two-step equation. What's my first step? Because my constant was a positive 15. Absolutely. So what's brought down? What happens to those 15s? Equals what's typed into the calculator. So what's 37 minus 15? 22, right? So 11x equals 22. Everybody still with me? What's the coefficient on, on the x? So what do I need to do to get rid of that coefficient of 11? Divide by 11 on. So what happens to those 11s? Bring down bring down and then what am I typing in which gets you 
to check this, what do I do? If you if you're using your words, what would you have to do? Starts with a P. Plug it in. Plug it in. Everywhere I see a what? An X. Jordan, what you were saying is 100% correct as well. So I want you to plug in this piece right here. You already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to write the work out to the side so you can see where it's coming from. Sorry, I did not show you where I marked. There we go. Sorry. That was my bad. These parentheses kind of got topsy turvy. What'd y'all get? 37. Does thirty seven equal thirty seven? Yes. That's the side work, so you can actually see where it came from. Any questions there? The biggest thing is typing this in. Any questions? Please do not lie to yourself on your checks. Your checks are so, so, so important. Okay? Flip that on over. Let's get into some examples together. So looking at A, I have 4, 3x minus 2 minus 4 equals 12. Is there anything for me to distribute? 4. 4. So what's being distributed by 4 first? So, what's 4 times 3x? What's being distributed by 4 next? So, what's 4 times negative 2? Everybody agree? Yes. What's being brought down behind that? Perfect. I'm going to pause. Any questions on what we just did? Okay covering up the one term over there. Is there anything to combine on this left side? Negative 8 and what? Minus 4. Minus four. Type that in, please. Don't say it out loud. We'll write everything from left to right, okay? What's being brought down first? 12x. 12x. What did you get when you typed in negative 8 minus 4? Perfect. What goes behind that? Uh-huh. Perfect. Pausing, two-step equation. What's the first step? Add, add, 12. add 12 because I have to take the opposite of my constant. So what's being brought down? Okay. What happens to those 12s? They cancel out. What goes behind that? Equals. What's being typed in? 12 12. Type in 12 plus 12. So Terry, make sure you're working with us, baby. So Terry, make sure you're working with us. You already know working ahead sometimes isn't in our best benefit, especially when the teacher is teaching the lesson. Duh. What'd y'all get? 24. Thank you. What do I need to do next to get 12 by itself? Thank you. What happens to those 12s? What's being brought down? And then what's being typed in? Type that in for me. What'd y'all get? Two. To check this, how would I rewrite it? Plug in uh, four, two, three, four, four, parentheses. Absolutely. Thank you. You're typing in this piece. Type that in for me. Type that in. What'd y'all get? Sorry. Take your time typing it in. I heard one. Three, four, five. 
Awesome. Everybody get 12? Yeah. Thank you, those six that told me their answers. So, is two the right answer? Yes. Any questions there? Looking at B, I have negative 4, x plus 2, minus 8 equals 5. Am I distributing anything? Yes. What am I distributing? Perfect. What am I distributing into first? So what's negative 4 times x? What's being distributed by negative 4 next? Perfect. Which gets me? Everybody agree? Perfect. What goes behind that? Marvelous. What goes after that? Amazing. Any questions there? Covering that one side with one term that I can't combine. Is there anything to combine on this side? Thank you. Those signs matter, right? So, what's being brought down unchanged? And what's being typed in? So if you haven't typed that in, please do that for me. That way we're making sure that we know how to do it and we're watching our signs. I'll tell you when. What'd y'all get? Bind that. From there, two-step equation. What's the first step? Absolutely. Get rid of that constant. Beautiful explanation. What's coming down? What happens to those 16s? Then? Mm-hmm. Five. Thank you. Five plus 16. That's what I was looking for. That's what I was listening for. Make sure you're typing it into the calculator. What'd y'all get? Beautiful. What am I doing from there? Divide negative 4 by both sides. I agree with that. So, what happens to those negative 4s? What's being brought down? And then we should type this in, right? So type in 21 divided by negative 4. If it gives you a decimal, type in math 1, enter. True, I don't know if they did this at your previous school when they did the keystrokes on the calculator. So follow along with me on your calculator, okay? No, math 1. You never hit second when you're doing that, baby. So true, when you type it in, type in 21 divided by negative 4. Don't say anything out loud to everybody else. Remember, this is a tutorial for him. So be mindful, be demure, okay? So, 21 divided by negative 4, when you type that in true, did you get this? Perfect. So, from there, you click math, which is the button right underneath the green alpha button. It should um, bring you to a screen that looks like this. Then hit the number 1 on your keypad at the bottom. So, just click 1 down here. Okay, got that one? So, it should pop up like this on your calculator. Do you see that? Then hit enter. Guys, did this change at all? No. So, could this be simplified any further? No. no. So, my answer should stay negative 21 over 4 or negative um, 21 over negative 4. The negative does not matter if it goes with top or bottom, but mathematically, we always put it with the top number. So, that's why you see me writing it out to the side here. How would I check this? Absolutely. So, how would I rewrite it? Yep. Parentheses. Uh huh. Because we're plugging in. What kind of twenty-one? There we go. Uh huh. Mhm. Mm Perfect. I'm going to show you how I type in this section. That way, you're not as thrown off. Give that just a second. It froze. It was not me. Promise. There we go. Thank y'all for not freaking out whenever that happens. That People often think that it's me doing it. It frustrates me just as much as y'all. That's how mine looks typed in. So make sure the negative when you're typing it in, it's this white button right here at the bottom. My finger's on it right here. Negative four, okay? Then you put your parentheses. And notice my double parentheses is still there. Negative 21 divided by four. Close that parentheses, plus 2, minus 8. What y'all get? Does 5 equal 5? So am I good to go? Negative 21 over 4 is the answer. In algebra, you can get fractions. 
in algebra, you can get decimals. In algebra, you can get those funky looking numbers. Do not change answers like this into mixed numbers. I implore you, leave them as improper fractions. That is the most correct answer. Any questions? And that's because on the state test, they will not give you mixed numbers. They always give you decimals, improper fractions, or whole numbers and integers, okay? Never, never mixed. That's usually for the middle school and elementary level. But know your mixed numbers if you're someone that likes to do like baking and stuff because conversions are key when you're making food. So looking at C, I have negative 13 equals 8A minus 3A plus 6. Am I distributing anything? The negative 3, right? That whole piece goes together. So from left to right, what's coming down? Negative 13. Uh-huh. Yep. And then what's being distributed? into so it's negative three times a what's being distributed next negative three times six it does not get the a when it's just negative three does that make sense it stays that a stays there but that a is not attached to that so what's negative three times six negative 18 everybody get that covering up the term with one on that side is there anything to combine on the right side Perfect. So what am I typing into the calculator? Eight, eight, one, three, so 8 minus 3, right? The 8, I get what you're saying. You just can't type the variable in the calculator that way. So what's being brought down left to right? Negative 13. Negative 13. Equals. What'd you get when you said 8 minus 3? Five. And then behind that? Minus eight. Perfect. Don't drop those signs. Two-step equation. What's the first step? Add 18 to both sides. Add 18 to both sides. We love to see it. Left to right, what's being typed into the calculator? Can you type that in for me, please? Hey, give them time, child. Negative 13 plus 18. Give them time. We working on this. What'd y'all get? There we go. What's being brought down? Because what happened to those 18s? Thank you. What's my next step to get A by itself? Beautiful. Okay. So what happens to these fives? Into. Thank you. Behind that. Because what happens to those fives? How can I rewrite this? Are they both acceptable answers? Well, I take both. So how would I rewrite this? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Y'all are typing in this section right here. So type in that section right there. I'll tell you when. What'd y'all get? <laughs> Is that what everybody else got when they plugged it in? Yeah. How you gonna say yeah for them? Yeah. Oh. I hear one person. Yeah. Two. The rest of y'all check it. I heard two people verify what Gavin said. Ian, did you verify it? Then why didn't you say something, child? Three, four. Who else? Five. Okay. I could have swore there was more than five people up in here. Six. Stevon, did you get the same thing? You sure? I'm not convinced. You sound like you look like you're out of it. You all right over there? Did you get negative 13? Okay. So is one the right answer? Yes. Any questions? D. I have four minus five z plus twelve equals twenty-two. These kind of questions messed y'all up yesterday. Okay. Am I distributing? 
What am I distributing? A negative what? A negative what? Thank you. So, what's being brought down unchanged? When you're multiplying by negative 1, what are you doing to things in the parentheses? Taking their opposites. That's what I'm looking for. Don't use the phrase flipping because it makes you think of reciprocal, right? So, say they're taking the opposite. So, what's the opposite of 5z? Uh-uh. What's the opposite of a positive 5z? Thank you. It was positive already in the parentheses. What's the opposite of 12? What comes down behind that? If you're someone that does not understand opposites, just go on and multiply it by negative 1. It should not change the number, only the sign. Any questions? Covering up that side with one term, is there anything to combine on the other side? 4 and negative 12. So what's being typed to the calculator? Four Type in 4 minus 12 for me. 4 minus 12. I'll tell you when. What'd y'all get? Eight. Perfect. Negative 8. What comes down behind that? Five. What kind? Negative five. Thank you. Do signs matter? Yes. What comes down behind that? What was that? Perfect. Two-step equation. What's my first step? Plus eight, Plus eight on both sides because we got to get rid of that constant. It's negative, so take the opposite, which is positive. What happens here? What's left? What's being typed in? Give them time. Type it in. 22 plus 8. You're verifying your answer. What'd y'all get? Perfect. What do I do from there? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Thank you. Do signs matter? Do I take that variable with me? You never move the variable. That's why I said absolutely not. I'm not going to say yes to something that's inherently wrong. Does that make sense? So, what happens to those negative fives? So, what's being brought down? And what's being typed in? 30 divided by negative 5. Type that in, I'll tell you when. What'd y'all get? Amazing. How would I check this? And we're plugging in this side right there. Get that plugged in for me. I need verification. I need verification. That doesn't mean one person. There's more than one brain in this room. So, which means you need to be able to tell me yes or no. Because you have to do it for yourself. I hear two. Three, four. Five. Six, seven. Eight. Perfect. That's more than half, which means we all got the same thing, which is 22. Any questions there? Yes, ma'am. Everybody with me? If I ask, if you have any questions, you say yes. That means you have a question. On. Yes. Or if you're still struggling on that concept, put the negative 1 and multiply it like normal. 1 is still a number. The negative just changes the actual sign. It doesn't change the value of that number's absolute value. Does that make sense? So the 5 won't change, just the sign in front of it. So if it was positive in the parentheses, you have a negative 1 on the outside, it should become a negative 5. Good question. Any questions here, ladies and gentlemen? All right, you do one and two, please. One and two. Don't worry, I'm going to project my work up top as I typically do. Get those to me. ASAP. And we did a good job. 
let's just refine some of these steps for people who messed up a little bit on your paper I marked where I saw things were incorrect I didn't just leave you hanging in the wind with a grade if you're someone that got a 90 I wrote do the actual things that are being asked to do which means if there's a check down there I'm checking to make sure that you're checking that's how we know that the answer is correct I can't read your mind so which means if it's not on the paper I can't give you a grade does that make sense that's like same as lips I did the entire test in my head okay but you didn't mark a single answer okay so partial credit that's where it comes from and then when I give you time about 10 to 12 minutes to work on these I expect the check to be done okay because we got our checks done so looking at number one is there anything for me to distribute yes. what am I distributing negative five. negative five you can only distribute what's in front of the parentheses directly not the numbers that are separated by plus or minus signs okay so what's coming down unchanged negative four x what is negative five times four x negative 20 x what's negative five times seven negative 35 and then equals 157 that shouldn't change great job what's happening next what are your like terms perfect so what's negative 4 minus 20 negative 24 x right what comes down behind that perfect then beautiful what do I need to do to solve this two-step equation add 35 on both sides Believe it or not, someone flip flopped the 35 into 33 on their paper, and I felt bad because when I found that step, I said, Oop, dang, you missed it by two. <laughs> Rough time to be alive, but mistakes happen. Now you know, be precise, okay? What's coming down? Negative two, 24x. Uh huh, what happens to those 35s? Yeah. What comes behind that? Equals. And then what am I plugging in? So type in 157 plus 35 if you haven't already or if you messed this step up. What'd y'all get? Perfect. What's going next? So we're divided by negative 24 on? Perfect. What happens to those negative 24s? So what's being brought down? And then what's being typed in? And then somebody got down to this step and dropped the sign, even though it was there. So I still gave more than half of the credit because all the rest of the work was perfect, 10 out of 10. So what did you get when you did this division? Negative eight. Negative eight. So how would I check this? Perfect. You would type in this side, right? So, if you were typing that side, it should get you 157. Does 157 equal 157? Yes. Great job. Any questions? Overall, great. Looking at number two. Is there anything to distribute? Yes. What am I distributing? Three. Three. So, what's coming down? And then what's 3 times x? 3x. What's 3 times 18? Any questions on that side? Okay, what next? <laughs> Combine like terms by saying 4x plus 3x. I heard someone saying it. So what's being brought down? 19. Equals, what's 4 plus 3? 7x. 7x plus? Perfect. What do I do from here? Mm -hmm. So what's 19 minus 54? What was I'm sorry? Perfect. What comes down behind that? Uh huh. What happens to those 54s? And what's my last step to get? To have, well, x by itself. Divide by. On. Perfect. What's negative 35 divided by 7? Equals. Because those 7's cancel out. How can I rewrite this? Uh, 
are both acceptable answers. Yes. Well, I accept both. Yes. So how do I rewrite this to check it? Guys, not talking while I'm talking. Y'all know better. Parentheses. Uh, what was that plus? plus. Three. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's what you would plug in. Any questions? Turn in your notes. You had four problems yesterday. All you got is is six. Literally. Six problems. There should be no reason why it's not done. Any questions? Just a second, Stevon. I see your hand. Get packed up.